Hey, what's going on? This is Adam Shelton and welcome to my video today. Training video today, we're gonna talk about how to get started with Sin Lane Part 2 Edition. If you haven't watched Part 1, go back and watch Part 1. I just did that just yesterday. So go ahead and watch Part 1. But today we're gonna talk about Part 2, Sin Lane, an email autoresponder to help your internet marketing. If this is your first time here at this channel, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and go ahead and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button right below this video to get videos just like this. Like, comment, and subscribe because when I do videos, I want you to see videos just like this. Now today's video, you know what time it is. I'm Adam Shelton and let's go ahead and dive into Sinlane part two, how to get started. Well, like I said in the other video, Sinlane is based out of Chicago and is a very good email autoresponder, especially affiliate marketers, network marketers, or any type of online business when it comes to emailing your list and getting subscribers engaging in that list because Sinlane definitely has the tools to do that. So let's go ahead and let me log in right now. Now part one, like a little recap, we talked about the overview. So we talked about logging into Sinlane and right below this video, I do have a link that you can go ahead and get started, your 14 day free trial. You can go ahead and try it out yourself. Up to 100 contacts, you can go ahead and load in and start emailing your list. Now in part one, we talked about the dashboard. I really like the dashboard because it has pretty much, you know, data-driven numbers right in front of you. You have your audience growth, you have your revenue engagement, and you have your recently sent campaigns, which are basically broadcasting your emails. That's what we're going to go over today. We're going to go over just sending a basic email to your list. Now, the next thing we talked about was make sure your settings were good, make sure your name and address and phone numbers, and that could be right under here, right there. And then also we went under audience and yesterday we went over just adding contacts and important lists, important your leads into a list. Now today we're going to go over, we're going to go over really about campaigns, which is basically like an email pretty much. So we're going to go ahead and go over that. So let's go ahead and do basic email. We're going to click on campaigns and you want to do new campaigns, brand new campaign. Now the campaign name is something that you get you pretty much, um, it's a reference to that you only see. You only see free campaign, came name. So you can just say day one email. This is kind of a reference of you to keep track of. So your, your subscribers will not see this as something to keep track of. I usually like putting a date down. You can say, you know, any, I can put a date in there. You can put the year in there. And the subject line, which is really important, something to get people to open up your email. So you can just say welcome. Let's say this is your first email. Welcome, like a welcome message. And then here was segments. Now, I really like segments because you can actually say, okay, I want to add this list. So let's say we want to add the test list. Remember yesterday we went over lists. So the segments is basically how you can pretty much, you can email a list of different lists of what you have. And also you can segment them based off different things like the last 30 days, if they open the last 30 days, if they didn't open. So you can kind of segment your list based on who you want to send an email to. And this exercise, we're going to go over just, we're not going to use the segment right now. So we'll just cancel that for right now. So we're just going to add one list. So we're going to add in the test list and we're going to hit the save. So basically everybody in that list it's going to get this email. That's pretty much what that means. So I'm including test list and they're going to get my welcome email that I'm about to send out. And exclude is pretty much the opposite. So pretty much you can say I want I don't I want to exclude this certain thing. So you can click on exclude here and let's say we had we didn't want to we want to exclude something from this list. So you can base it's pretty much saying okay, I want this including but I want to exclude this. It's pretty much exactly how it explains it. So it's really, really cool. And right there, you hit next. You hit next right there. And from here, you can start from scratch. You can start from scratch pretty much your email. And that's what I did. I pretty much start from scratch. I found something really easy. But you can use any of these type of templates here. You can use any pre-designed templates that can you use. Or you can just start from scratch, which is right here. You can start from scratch. And start from scratch with pretty much a blank template. So you can go ahead and pretty much type in your information in here. So this is it right here. And let's just say, we're gonna make an example. Test, hello, 
and welcome. So this is just a test email. And it's pretty much simple. You can just type in and right here, what you want to do, you can change the actually size of it. So we can change the size of it. You can actually bold it. So you can highlight it here. You can bold, bold your message. Um, you can actually put a link underneath it. Let's say you want to put a link there, like something like, yeah, I mean, I'll make something up. So you can actually submit that. And now that's, that's the link. So that means it's a click, clickable link here. So we can do submit here. So that's, it's very, very easy. And this is what it looks like right there. Just click there. And you also can send a test email. You can preview and can save and continue. And all this is basically just different settings of how you want to set it up. So section here, you can actually put another block here if you need to. Um, and then you can add text there. Pretty much you kind of play with it anyway. And everything is self-explanatory. You can put a button there. You can put an image. I mean, you can set up an image. But right now, we're just going to go what we have right now. And can save and continue. And right here, it kind of gives you kind of a summary of what you just did. Your audience is pretty much, this is receiving the list. Your test list. Here's the, the subject line, which is pretty much your basic welcome message. Your tracking and design is already set up there, and you just go ahead and schedule it. And here, I can say I can send it immediately. I can save it as a draft, so it means I can go back to it and edit it if I'm not ready to send it out. Or you can go ahead and schedule, which is one of my favorite things to do: is schedule emails. So I can say I can schedule it. You can say I want this to go out. Uh, I can say I can I can say I want to go out October 3rd. <laughs> I can say go out October 3rd and send that out and I can save it. And it's all saved. And right here, Pam, right here, day one email, it is saved to go out October 3rd, 2019. You like that? It's pretty cool, right? There's nothing to it. Like Sendlane is really easy to understand. And it got a good customer service help desk. Let me look right here. So if you click right here. It will basically, if you click on here, it basically helps you out in terms of answer to anything you have. So any basic inf uh, information is right here. You actually ask questions just like right there. And one of these these fine attendants, they, they basically got information from me. I definitely hit them up on different questions about Sinlane, especially when I first signed up. And that's one reason why I'm doing this, this video, because all the beginners out there that, that sign up for Sinlane or they need an email autoresponder, they're just brand new. I want to let them know that Sinlane is definitely a good autoresponder to use. It's got really good customer service support. It's really to understand. And the deliver rates have been really, really good as well. They've been rated being really one of the best deliverable open rates out there. So that's one little information for you. Let me go ahead and close this and move this back here. And so, yes, so today's message, we went over to, um, we built a basic email. We sent it out. Well, actually, we scheduled it. And we talked a little bit about segments. Now, tomorrow's video, I'm going to go over it. I'm going to go over some of the reporting, you know, mechanism of Sinlane and a little bit more details about Sinlane and how to use it effectively in terms of reporting. So stay tuned for tomorrow's message. But right below this video, I do have a 14-day free trial that you can sign up for Sinlane and test it out for yourself. 14-day free trial. Go ahead and test that out and go ahead and start playing around with it. Go back and watch this video if you need to in terms of like how to email a basic you know campaign broadcast your emails each and every single day so tomorrow's video we're going to talk about reports and actually you know what we may talk a little bit about automation that might be the part four edition will be automation so stay tuned to tomorrow's message have a good night and don't forget to click on the link below like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in tomorrow's video